I have a respiratory virus, why does it feel like it goes straight to my chest? This is a good question. So when we have these viral upper respiratory tract infections, they usually affect the ears, the nose, the throat, the trachea, which is the main windpipe, and then the bronchi, which are the, the two pipes that go to each lung. It doesn't have to affect all of these areas, but when you feel like it's gone into your chest, usually it's because of something called tracheobronchitis. So this is inflammation of the trachea and, and the bronchi. Here, when there's inflammation and constriction of those airways, you can feel like it's a bit more difficult to breathe. But when you cough, because the airways are so central, you will feel like you've got a rattly cough because all of that phlegm and mucus it kind of has to it will just rattle around inside this part of your airway but if you've got one of these lower respiratory tract infections when we listen to your chest you will we will hear some crackles when you breathe in and then when you cough we will hear those crackles moving and then, then the type of crackles will change the next time you take a breath in none of that happens when you have tracheobronchitis because we can't hear that in the lungs and there's not a great deal that we do for that. Uh, sometimes we give inhalers, sometimes we can give steroids, but antibiotics and um, other treatments won't really do much because it's usually caused by a virus. And this is the thing, because even when you um, start feeling rattly on like day five, six or seven of your illness, and then you think, oh, it's gone into my chest, all that's happened is that mucus and inflammation is just loosening and it's got to go somewhere. So you reabsorb some of it, you spit some of it out and you swallow some of it. Again, it doesn't always, none of that really means that you need antibiotics. We go more on where you are in the story. So for example, if you're now no longer really having fevers, if you are less breathless, if you are feeling better and you're able to go about your daily activities a bit better, then just having that worsening cough or a rattly cough doesn't really mean that much. It doesn't mean that we will guarantee to give you antibiotics because you are otherwise well and that cough will now hopefully start to settle over the coming weeks.